It was a Valentine's Day surprise that Dr. Cecile Taylor could have done without. A burglar captured on surveillance video ransacking her office in Folsom. Turns out her shop is just one of more than half a dozen eye clinics throughout the valley that thieves hit this past year. They had cased the joint before. Dr. Robert Miller's clinic in Davis is one of the more recent targets. Your personal space has been invaded by somebody and just you wonder what kind of person does this? He actually ramped up security before the burglars came after hearing his optometry friends were broken into. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to happen to me. They took this piece of glass out. Turns out the thieves don't necessarily break in at all. They didn't break it. They literally knew how to take off the glazing and remove the glass from the window. The same method seen at other clinics. He was down. He walked along like a cat, came over here, felt these. Oh, that's locked saw the Maui gym, went right for it. I mean, you can still see scratches down here where he slowly slid this over and pulled the glass out. Miller couldn't turn a blind eye anymore. Now it's personal. The ophthalmologist now turned private eye. So I started collecting videos and it turns out, I think it's the same people. He contacted the other docs and put his own report together. Case numbers, phone numbers, emails. In hopes it catches law enforcement's attention. I recognize law enforcement has his hands filled with many bigger things than this, but it'd be nice if something was done. Until there are any solid leads, this ophthalmologist is keeping a watchful eye. It's certainly going to be a tough crime to crack unless we get that one break. And most of us now have cameras outside and we're watching for that moment. So what's similar with these cases are the thieves are carefully removing a glass window to get in and then crawling to avoid tripping any motion detectors that the shops may have. Right, they know what they're doing. You can tell from that surveillance video and obvious similarities between the case you covered yesterday in Folsom and the doctor you talked to today. So are police making these connections? Well, I reached out to all of the jurisdictions in these areas so far. No leads yet. They are looking into this, but there haven't been enough red flags to launch any task force just yet, but maybe that's something they're going to start looking into. Yeah, at this point, we now know there are so many different doctors affected by this. Marley, thank you.